what makes this exciting about, uh, for me, this one-year flight is about the science and everything we're going to learn from uh, expanding the envelope on the space station uh, greater than, than what we've currently done. And if we're ever going to go to Mars someday, the International Space Station is really a uh, great platform to learn uh, much more about having people live and work in space for longer durations. It's, uh, it's close to the Earth. Um, and it's a great uh, orbiting facility. So this one-year flight is uh, one of many stepping stones towards uh, leaving low Earth orbit again. It's a, a focused effort to reach across international and technological boundaries to enhance our integrated uh, science on board the space station. Now we do science every day on the International Space Station, over probably 150 different type of investigations that are going on right now and have been going on uh, since the space station started flying in, uh, in uh, 2000, the year 2000, when we had uh, our first crews on board. However, for this flight, NASA has selected uh, 19 collaborative investigations to evaluate the effects of longer duration spaceflight on humans. Uh, Roscosmos and the Russian Space Agency uh, selected 14 investigations, and some of those investigations are joint investigations that Misha and I will be participating in um, together. As far as the U.S. science is concerned, and I think Misha is prepared to talk about the, the Russian science investigations, our 19 investigations are broken down into, into uh, seven different categories, um, from functional to behavioral health, uh, visual impairment, uh, metabolic, physical performance, microbial, and uh, human factors investigations. So to kind of sum up um, what or the answer to Jules' question for me is what makes this so much uh, different than the last time, obviously the duration, but also uh, my excitement is for the, uh, the science and what we're going to learn on this uh, nearly one-year flight.